now for a taste of things to come. Every time I'm turning around, anytime I have a break, I want to play this game. What have you enjoyed most about this game? Like, it's got so much to really sort of take in. Blue t- I enjoyed seeing those too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Who would have thought that was going to happen? Well, I did, because I already got with her in the first one, Liara, the <laughs> blue alien. Prototype 2, this game which features overly aggressive police officers creating massive, borderline, unbeatably chaotic fight sequences in a very washed out New York City. Uh, wait a second. Oh, sorry, this was the first game. My teenage self certainly would want to see a sequel to Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. <laughs> Only this yes. time it would, it would actually have fun gameplay, a little bit more touching, and some nudity. Previously on GameAndTrain.com, broadcaster Jeff Johnson began his epic confrontation with voice actor Kyle Abair. Now, the interview between podcaster and voice actor continues to wage on, and on, and on. Honestly, this is starting to look like an episode of the Frieza Saga. And that's not in the script. Well, it's not like I'm on a contract or anything. You mean this contract? Hey, when did I sign this? Ah, damn crafty Canadians. Okay, here we go. Will Kyle Hebert be back again next week? Find out in another exciting episode of Game On! Okay, now, where's my check? Well, you've got quite the record yourself. I mean, you went undefeated 21 matches in kickboxing, 20 wins, 10 losses in mixed martial arts. I guess, how do you keep up the discipline inside and outside of the ring? Well, the thing about mixed martial arts is it's, it has to be a constant evolution. The, be- the best guy to, you know, I could explain is a guy like George St. Pierre. You know, he- he's at the top of the game, you know, considered you know, one of the best pound-for-pound fighters. But you see every single fight, he comes out and he has new skills. You know, and I think that's the one thing in this sport is you have to stay hungry. First-person shooters have always been my favorite genre, going all the way back to Wolfenstein 3D, the very first game I played, in fact. But, you know what? A lot has changed since the id Software Pioneer was released in 1992. And, in my opinion, a lot has changed for the worse. Joining me today on Game On from Cranbrook, British Columbia, Scott Niedemeyer. I just wanted to be out playing hockey. I mean, it's a fun game, and uh, obviously growing up in Canada, it's a, it's a popular game, and maybe my buddies were playing or, or whatever it may be. But, uh, you know, I had my brother who we would, you know, be in the backyard, be down in the in the basement playing playing hockey, and, uh, you know, it, was, it, it treated me very well. I, I learned a lot from the game about the game, but also about myself. I'm going to see some and then I'm going to take photographs of and then I'm going to eat wings, and it's going to be delicious. Yes! Hooters! If there was an Olympics for throwing ice in okay. the toilet, I would be the grand champion. Tara, with the Calgary Expo going on right now, what is your thought of seeing all of these fans who have come out to see you? I like it. It's nice to have support of the fans. I think, um, you know, before the internet, a lot of voiceover people didn't know that people cared about them or love what they do. So it's certainly nice to meet everybody in person and feel all the love. Man, all this constant exposure to radiation is making me thirsty. It's the start of day two. And as you can hear on the oven right now, it's the sound of champions. The sound of bacon. I'm waiting for the Futurama panel, and right now there is a hard rock band playing a Dr. Mario theme, and they're going to do Tetris as well. Uh, This is pretty cool, just listen. Uh, I think you're telling one about Andre the Giant. He has some gas. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, it's like, I I put the story in my book, and... People come up that have read the book and they said they, they all say the same thing. Love the story about Andre. It's a strange story. Some people think that I went through breast surgery because I wanted to be a model, which is false. Actually, I decided that I would have breast surgery when I was a teenager and finally I did it as a really young adult when I was 23 for the first time. And then I had a second breast surgery when I was 27. Talking with John DiMaggio, you are the voice of Bender. Have- Q91, oh yeah, look out. Yeah! Awesome.
Sorry, I couldn't no, help no, it. I couldn't help it. You, you, you say Q91 to someone, and it's just I'm immediately like, Q91! Calgary's best rock. What, what are you, what's your... It's a country station. Country, great. Yeah. Q91, come on! <laughs> Everybody grab some moonshine! Bam, 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, just make, all right. First, saved message. Uh, fine. I'll leave a message. The name's Newcomb. Duke Newcomb. Jeff Johnson. You wanted to do an interview? All right. Well, we can make it happen. Call me back at the number from which I called. I know you've got it. Late. End of message. Listening to Game On. By the way, you just lost the game. God damn it! Game.